Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation in two ways. Let's start with the first method. So we have y prime equals e to the power x minus y. For my first method, I'm going to use substitution. As you know, substitution is a really good method. So let's go ahead and call x minus y z. And z is going to be a function of x because y is a function of x. So from here, if you differentiate both sides, we get 1 minus y prime, which is dy over dx, equals z prime, which is dz over dx. All right. So now we can go ahead and solve for y prime here. And that's going to give us y prime equals 1 minus z prime. So this is something we can definitely use in our equation and also replace x minus y with z. Okay, let's go ahead and do both re replacements. We get 1 minus z prime equals e to the power z. Awesome. From here, let's go ahead and isolate z prime. That becomes 1 minus e to the power z. Now, since z is a function of x, let's go ahead and write z prime as dz over dx equals 1 minus e to the power z. And from here, we're going to separate the variables because this is a separable equation and very easy to solve. So we're going to write it as dz over 1 minus e to the power z equals dx. And then at this point, we are going to integrate both sides with respect to x. So let's go ahead and integrate. Now, when we integrate the left-hand side, um, how do you integrate 1 over 1 minus e to the power z, right? That's the question. So let's go ahead and integrate that function by using a clever uh, manipulation. Let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by e to the power negative z. And that gives us e to the power negative z dz divided by, if you distribute the e to the power negative z, you're going to get e to the power negative z minus 1. Now we have to integrate this, but integrating this is definitely easier than uh, the previous one. So we're going to call this u. So u equals e to the power negative z minus 1. And du becomes the derivative times dz. The derivative is negative e to the power negative z. All right, so we don't have that, but we do have e to the power negative z dz. Therefore, this is just going to become negative du. So we get the following integral after using u substitution. We get negative du over u. And as you know, um, the integral of du over u is ln u. Let's just forget about the positives and negatives here. Just let's not use the absolute value. Uh, and this becomes negative ln of um, e to the power negative z minus 1. Great. I'm going to save the constant for the right-hand side. So now the integral of dx is obviously just x plus c, so that's fairly easy. Now we can go ahead and set the left-hand side, which is the first one. Read it by u substitution. And then let's go ahead and set it equal to x plus c, which is the in integral of dx. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 1. And that gives us negative x minus c. And to get rid of the ln, let's, we can do e to the power both sides. And that's going to give us the following. e to the power ln e to the power negative z minus 1 equals e to the power negative x minus c. All right, e to the power ln something is something. So it's going to be e to the power negative z minus 1 equals e to the power negative x minus c. Awesome. Uh, we can go ahead and isolate e to the power negative z from here and write it as e to the power negative x minus c plus 1. And then uh, ln both sides, that's going to give us negative z equals ln e to the power negative x minus c plus 1. And then if you negate both sides, you're going to get z equals negative ln e to the power negative x minus c plus 1. But you got to remember, we use substitution, so z is equal to x minus y. Let's go ahead and replace x, uh, z with that. And then our goal is to solve for y. So we can go ahead and uh, isolate y here. y becomes x plus ln e to the power negative x minus c plus 1. 
Okay, let's leave it at that and go ahead and talk about the second method. Awesome. Now our second method is basically um, easier. So we're going to write this uh, the right hand side as e to the power x over e to the power y and then write the y prime as dy over dx. And now this is a separable equation again, but obviously it's easier than the previous method. So let's go ahead and put the y's together. We get e to the power y dy equals e to the power x dx. This is very cool. Uh, we can integrate both sides and solve for y from here. Let's go ahead and do it. If you integrate e to the power dy, e to the power y dy, you get e to the power y and the right hand side gives you e to the power x. Let's just go ahead and add a constant, but let's not use the same constant we used before. Let's just use k. No big deal, but let's just make it different. Great. So now we can definitely ln both sides, right? And solve for y, and y is going to become ln e to the power x plus k. And you're like, what? That's not the same answer. Okay, if you look at the first method, we got something different, right? How come we got a different answer? Let's go ahead and work on that expression. So notice that, notice that y is equal to x plus ln e to the power negative x minus c plus one. Now I'm gonna write this as uh, ln e to the power x plus ln e to the power negative x minus c plus 1. Notice that we're adding two ln's, so we can just go ahead and combine them. So it's going to become the ln of the product. We can write it as e to the power x times e to the power negative x minus c plus 1, and then distribute the e to the power x. That gives us ln of e to the power, now when you multiply e to the power x by e to the power negative x minus c, uh, you know, x minus x is zero, so it's going to disappear, and we're going to end up with e to the power negative c plus e to the power x. But notice that c is a constant, and e to the power negative c is also a constant. Therefore, we can just go ahead and call this k, and from here, our solution becomes y equals ln e to the power x plus k. And that's basically the same solution that we got before, right? All right, great, awesome. This brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I just wanted to remind you real quick. So here's the plan. Uh, we're going to be um, doing the, what is it called? The radical idea tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you at the premieres. Uh, that's going to be a really cool problem that was homemade. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with the radical idea. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.